Where is the blasted remote to this TV? Oh, did, did you mean this one? Sorry, I was doing some experiments. Here. Gee, thanks. You know I always watch my show at three. Television remote controls, like this one, rely on beams of infrared light to turn on your TV or change the channel. To understand how this works, let's first talk about how light is made. Light is a form of electromagnetic radiation, which is the emission of energy in the form of waves or particles through space. In this case, electromagnetic radiation is a combination of oscillating electric fields and magnetic fields. Let's zoom in on our friendly LED again. And let's say this is an atom in the glowy part of the LED. This large piece is the nucleus, and these smaller bits are the electrons that move about the nucleus in regions known as orbitals. If we were to give this electron some energy, say from an electric current, it might jump up from a lower orbital to a higher orbital, farther away from the nucleus. When that electron tries to return to its default state, it must give up some of its energy, and it does this by releasing a photon, which is the smallest possible chunk of electromagnetic radiation. One photon isn't a lot, but when we continually add energy and let lots of photons be released, we get light. The frequency of the electromagnetic radiation generated in this manner determines its properties. All the different frequencies of this radiation makes up what we call the electromagnetic spectrum. This spectrum is made up of radio waves, microwaves, light, x-rays, and gamma rays. The part that our eyes can detect is known as visible light and is comprised of only a very small range of frequencies in the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Most of the time, we think of LEDs as producing visible light. However, some LEDs can be made to produce light in the infrared part of the spectrum. Even though we can't see it, it's still light. If you look closely at the Circuit Playground Express, you can see two components labeled TX and RX. TX is the transmitter. This is the infrared LED that produces light. RX is the infrared receiver. It can read infrared pulses of light sent by another Circuit Playground Express. Most television remote controls also have infrared LEDs. These send out pulses of light that tell the television to turn on, change the channel, or increase the volume. With most TVs, you should be able to find a small black box around the bezel. This plastic piece hides the infrared receiver, just like the one we have on our Circuit Playground Express. While our eyes can't see these pulses of light, many cameras, like the one on your smartphone, can detect them. Try pointing a remote control at your phone's camera. As you press a button, you should see a purplish-looking light show up in the camera, even if you can't directly see it with your eyes. The same goes for the Circuit Playground Express. Let's write some code to send data to another board using infrared light. In MakeCode, get an on button A click block from input and drag it to the work area. Go into network and get an infrared send number block. Snap it under the on button click block. Change the sent number from 0 to 1. Feel free to choose another number if you'd like. Now, whenever we press the A button on our Circuit Playground Express, the number 1 will be specially encoded and sent out from the infrared LED in many fast pulses of light. In network, drag an on infrared received block to the work area. In logic, get an if block and snap it to the on infrared received block. Replace the if block's condition with an equals block from logic. Notice that the on infrared received block stores the received number in the variable num. So go into variable and get a num variable block. Snap it to one of the equal block sides. Change the other side to the number that you are transmitting, which is 1 for me. Now, if your Circuit Playground Express receives the number 1 from the infrared receiver, it will execute whatever is found inside the if block. You can have it do whatever you want, but I want mine to play a silly sound. So go into music and get a play sound block. Snap it under the if statement. I'll change the sound to power up. Try this out in the simulator. Press the A button once to make another board appear. We need two to transmit and receive. Press A again and you should hear your sound. <coughs> Download this program and copy it to two different Circuit Playground Express boards. 
Now, when you press the A button on one circuit playground express, the power up sound plays on the other board. Try it for both boards. Instead of sound, try changing it to something else, say lighting up the LEDs on another board. Or better yet, try making it so that the A and B buttons do something completely different. For example, press A on one board and it increases the amount of light on another board. Or press B and it decreases that amount of light. When it comes to transmitting information, I'm sure you're starting to see the light.